annual Highbridge Film Festival. Uh, this is, of course, is the 10th anniversary. This is a historic moment for Asbury University. Brought to you also by this historic car we have with us, one of the DeLoreans from Back to the Future, graciously uh, brought here by the Michael J. Fox Foundation. Over here we have the beautiful Hughes Auditorium where we'll be screening our films tonight. We have a great list of movies lined up for you. We've got some comedies, some dramas, we've got an animation. Uh, and I will be here with you for uh, the next couple of minutes uh, here on the red carpet bringing you live information, interviews while we uh, hype the festival up and get everything ready. Uh, here we have uh, Abby with us. She'll be the first person I'm interviewing tonight. Uh, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Great. Uh, so obviously we're here at the festival. Um, what, uh, what, what, what class are you in? I'm in multi-cam right now, so... Awesome. Uh, is this your, your first uh, time to the Highbridge Film Festival? It is my first time. I'm a freshman. Oh, awesome, awesome. Well, uh, so what do you, what's, uh, what's been your favorite part of uh, the Mediacom experience so far? I just love the people. I think it's a good community atmosphere, and I love getting to know everybody and getting my hands on projects. It's fun. Yeah, I've always had a lot of fun with that. Well, uh, thank you for being here tonight. Uh, thank you for, for coming to an interview. Uh, enjoy the rest of the night. Yeah. So, yeah, we are, uh, we're here. We've got a short while before us. We'll see if we can get s uh, some more people here with us. Uh, Lindy, are you ready? <laughs> All right. Uh, here we have uh, Melinda Malley here with us. Hi. Yeah, yeah, Lindy. Um, so, uh, what, what, what year are you here at Esmer? I'm a sophomore, a member of the Ransom class. Um, well, uh, are you uh, involved with uh, any of the film screening here today? Yes, I did production design for uh, history of, the History of Sadness, and then I did effects makeup for Getaway, and I was an extra in Relationship Wrecked, so we'll see if I made the cut. Awesome. Well, it looks like you were, uh, you were part uh, of a lot of films uh, this year. What um, do you suppose was your favorite part uh, of being on set? Um, I think probably just, you know, people have a great sense of humor here. People are really team players. And The History of Sadness is the first film I ever did PD on, so it kind of has a special place in my heart. Awesome. awesome. Well, great. Yeah. Um, yeah, let me, uh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, we're just, we'll just be here the whole rest of the night. Uh, oh, we've just got more people. We'll just have interviews, interviews galore. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Come on down. Uh, what's your name? Spencer Smith. All right, Spencer, nice to meet you. Nice um, to uh, what, what year are you here at Asbury? I'm a junior. Awesome. Uh, are you involved with any of the films tonight? Um, I'm in the commercial for the graduate program for the Mediacom um, department. So. Cool. Well, uh, what has been uh, your favorite part of Mediacom in your uh, time here? Oh, man, I just love the storytelling aspect. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I really just love how it brings all everybody together, especially during... Um, Highbridge in the Highbridge season, you know what I'm saying? It's really great. Cool. Yeah, well, uh, we are, of course, all about community here at Asbury. Uh, community is a, a big part of um, what we strive towards here, here at Asbury. And I do think, uh, like you said, Highbridge is a great time for uh, just everybody coming together. We've got a line way down there. People just love coming to this. Yeah. Uh, well, thanks for being with us. Uh, yeah, have a great time at the festival. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, well, um, we are here at Highbridge. Uh, I guess this, this is going to the internet stream, so I should uh, say hello to all of you on the internet. I realize I haven't introduced myself yet. Uh, I'm Jake Terrio. I'm a student here at Asbury. Uh, I'm a sophomore. I am in the Mediacom department and also the theater department. Um, I'm really excited to be here. I mean, this is just, we're going to have a great show for you tonight. Oh, we've got Harry here. Harry Fogel is, uh, he's coming here, sorry. Yeah, um, well, Harry, um, yeah. How are you doing today? <laughs> oh, I'm doing great. I've been, you know, just kind of getting ready for this in like bit by bit at all morning, you know. Ate a big meal at Cracker Barrel, so. Nice. Cracker Barrel, good stuff. Good pre um, dinner. Yeah. Uh, are you uh, involved with any of the films tonight? Um, to my knowledge, I think I am. I just kind of like dabble and um, help out with anything. People just kind of like text me all the time or like whenever they like need just a grip basically like I'm not like the go-to guy for anything important I'm just like an extra set of hands on set more often than not so like 
I kind of lose track after a while. So like, if I'm in it, you won't see me. So it's kind of like, did I work on that? I probably like hauled around like a C stand or two on one thing or the other. So yeah. Well, uh, since you did work on stuff, uh, would you mind telling everyone what exactly your favorite part of uh, working on set was? Well, I just kind of like sitting and like talking to the other grips and stuff mostly because like usually like good friendships develop out of that. Like I worked on the departmental film this year and uh, me and the grips got along really well and also like you know the rest of the crew we all developed like a pretty good uh, working relationship. It was a really good atmosphere and I liked it a lot. So like just that aspect of like filmmaking in general is like a lot of fun just you know inner workings with the crew. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Awesome. Well uh, thank you for being with us Harry. For uh, enjoy the festival. Yeah. yeah. Have a great night. Yeah. And we've got, oh, Jen and Lucy are here. They are uh, two of our wonderful seniors. They've done so much great stuff here at Asbury. How are you ladies doing tonight? Excellent. Awesome. <laughs> great. Uh, and uh, do you two beautiful people have anything in Highbridge tonight? Um, well, I wrote and produced uh, Nathaniel Winkler's animated film, uh, Lace Spark, which is premiering tonight. Uh, so that's a hand that I have in one of them tonight, yes. And and uh, I did all the voice work for the female character in his animated film as well, which mostly means I did a lot of breathing um, and giggling. Um, and then I'm also in Zach Brewer's film, Getaway, which is a short comedy. It's really funny. <laughs> well, uh, in my experience, we haven't had a lot of uh, animation voiceover work here at uh, Asbury's Highbridge Film Festival. Uh, what exactly was, was that like for you? Well, it was a totally different experience for me. I've never really done anything like it before, um, but uh, it was really fun. Like, kind of get to play around with like what, what sort of sounds would you make when you get hit by something or things like that. So it's just kind of an interesting experience, and it's pretty pretty awesome. Well, um, obviously, you two are seniors, uh, so you've <laughs> you've been here a couple of times before. What has been your favorite part of uh, the festival? Ooh. Well, my favorite festival was last year. I got to host it with Rebecca Robles, and we just had a blast. It was really, really fun. But this year, I'm looking forward to just actually sitting back and just watching all the films uh, so I don't actually have to, like, be responsible for anything going smoothly. Um, but I, it, was a, it was a huge blast hosting last year, and just, like, people were really receptive, and it was just, it was just awesome. Usually, the audience is really generous, and they laugh at a lot of jokes that aren't that funny. We have Zach Cooper here. Uh, I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, Zach Cooper is uh, in the Unshakable class, one of our juniors. Uh, do you have anything uh, showing tonight? Uh, I do not, but I'm in. I have a small part in one of the films, so. Awesome. Well, uh, what with that in mind, uh, what do you think was your favorite part of uh, the whole cinema experience this past year? Um, it was fun. I got to work on a lot of projects, uh, a lot of sleepless weekends, but it was all worth it. I got to hang out with friends. It was a good time. Cool. Uh, and um, yeah, well. <laughs> I'm just getting all stumbling over myself. It's but okay. yeah, thank you for, hey, for being out. With us. Live stream. You're doing a great job. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> all right, we've just got people lining up left and right. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself for the internet? Yeah. My name is Lael Shields. Nice to meet you, Lael. Um, do you have anything showing tonight? I do not. I have absolutely no part in this at all, but I'm enjoying it, so that's fine. <laughs> well, uh, well, what major are you then here at Asbury? Or year and major? I'm a freshman, and I'm majoring in public relations. That's very awesome. I don't know that many people in public relations. Um, uh, what do you, um, what's been your favorite part of this year so far? Well, I would definitely have to say the friends. The community here is, like, fantastic. And I know people say that, like, all the time, but it's so true. Like, people here are just so great to relate to. And, yeah, it's great. Well, uh, are you excited for tonight? Um, yeah. <laughs> we have, like, a car over there, and then, like, there's so many friends, you know, just, like, lining up, so I'm more than excited. Awesome. I mean, we're all excited, too. Uh, glad you could make it out, uh, and you look lovely, um, and uh, enjoy the rest of the night. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yes, community, all about that at Asbury. There's just a lot of wonderful people here, a lot of great experiences you have. Uh, I know that's been... Uh, my, my life here for the past couple of years. Just great friends, great times, and we'll bring more people to interview. <laughs> yeah. um, what's your name? Lizzie Sherwood. Hi, Lizzie. Uh, I'm Jake. Uh, I'm, of course, the host of the Simulcast. Um, wh what's, uh, what class are you in, and what's your major? I'm a freshman, and I'm an elementary ed major. Oh, awesome. Elementary ed. We need to teach the kids. <laughs> um, what has uh, been your favorite experience of this past year since you're a freshman? 
I really enjoyed doing legacy games. I was able to be on the events planning committee this year, and so I was able to take part in planning it and then getting to be in it as well. And then, of course, the freshman class won this year. So, uh, For those of you who uh, aren't familiar with the legacy games, we have uh, all four classes. Is it a week-long event? Yeah, a week-long event. We compete all sorts of games, all sorts of fun prizes. Also builds community, which we're going to drive into your heads today. Um, yeah, so that's awesome. Uh, are you excited for tonight? Yeah, I'm super excited. Well, great. Uh, great to have you here. Uh, enjoy the rest of the night. Yeah, you too. yeah, thank you. Oh, come on up. Yeah. Hi, I'm Riley Trebilko. <laughs> Sorry, I should have should have asked you that. Yeah. Um, so, what's uh, what's your year? What's your major? I'm a freshman, and I'm an equine and adventure leadership major. Equine and adventure leadership. That sounds like fun. <laughs> it's definitely fun. Yeah. Um, what has been uh, the best part of your year so far? Um, so far the people. I bet a lot of people say that, but it's definitely the biggest part for me, and I don't know. I've been impacted a lot by my friends and stuff. Are you excited for tonight? Yeah, it'll be fun. <laughs> cool. Well, uh, yeah, do you uh, know anyone who's made any of the films, or are you in any of them? Um, no, I'm not in any, and I don't know anyone, really, so that's kind of sad. But uh, That's all good. Yeah, well, have a great time tonight. Uh, thank you for covering an interview. Yeah. Whew. Don Mink is over here. <laughs> he is a man who holds the Mediacom department together. Don, how are you doing tonight? Good. How are you doing, Jake? Good. It's a beautiful night, isn't it? It is. Beautiful Kentucky weather. Yeah. Um, so, Don, are you excited for this event tonight? I'm excited every year for this event. This is the celebration of story at Asbury. Uh, a lot of hard work, both on the films and on the event itself. There are only there's only three full-time people that are working on this, this event, and the rest are students. It's great. Cool. Well, um, what has been, uh, do you think, your your favorite experience uh, at these past ten Highbridge festivals? Thank you for making me feel that old. Uh, the favorite. The most surprising, I don't know if it's favorite, but the most surprising was the first year when we didn't, we didn't think we were going to have anybody. It was, we hoped people would show up. And as you look around at everybody that's dressed up out here, would know what, that wasn't what we asked for. No one said, hey, this is a big gala event. And then by year two or three, it had become a, almost a black tie affair. And until you see what you have today, um, and the line goes literally halfway through campus right at this moment in time. So it's, a, it's exciting to see how much it's grown. Oh, and it looks like uh, we're opening the doors. So yeah, uh, I'll let you go. Thank you for being out here with us. Uh, have a great rest of the night. Yeah. Oh, we have uh, here Heather Hollingshead. Uh, she is uh, one of our, our Mediacom majors. She's done a lot of great work for us. How are you doing, Heather? I'm doing well today. How are you, Jake? I'm doing great. Um, do you have any uh, involvement with uh, the film showing tonight? Actually, I do. I worked on uh, Brown Rug Wool's film, The Provider, as producer. Um, and so I helped get together all of his locations and his actors and a little bit of the makeup. But, awesome. Yeah. awesome. So what was, uh, do you think, your favorite experience working with that? Uh, I always like to work with Brownrigg, to be honest. He's, he's a really talented filmmaker. I really like his insight, and, um, and this is actually one of my favorite scripts that he's written. So it, it's just it's been a pleasure. Whenever he calls me, I'm like, okay, what do you need me to do? <laughs> awesome. Well, we're looking forward to seeing that tonight, and you're looking forward to seeing your name roll up in the credits. Uh, thank you for being out here tonight. Yeah, uh, don't lose your spot in line. <laughs> yeah, okay, awesome. Well, thank you for coming. Whew. So we just got more people. It's a wonderful packed house tonight. We've just packed out Hughes. Hi, uh, I'm Jake. Hi, I'm Sarah, and this is Judy Ann. I'm Judy Ann. Cool. Um, well, uh, what are you doing here at tonight's uh, High Bridge Festival? We're coming to watch the Foobies. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, are you excited for tonight? Yes. Yes, I'm very excited. It's like my fourth year. Oh, awesome. Great. Uh, do you have any involvement or know anyone working on the films tonight? I don't know what the films are this year, so I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, that's all good. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you for coming out. Thank you for interviewing with us. Yeah, Have a great you. rest of the night. Yeah, you too. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Whew. Here we go. There's lots of people. It's great. Hi. You too. Yeah. Uh, so have a great time tonight. Yeah. Enjoy the movies. Yeah. All right. Ooh, Cody. 
Cody, Cody, Cody. Would you care to join us tonight? I would love to join you. Awesome. This is Cody. He's uh, he's actually on my hall with me, third nerd. It's awesome. Uh, how are you doing tonight, Cody? I'm doing quite well. How are you doing? Doing very well. Uh, are you involved with any of the movies showing tonight? I am an extra on Megan Case's film Relationship Wrecked. Uh, I think that's the only one that I have any involvement with. Cool. Uh, well, how was that experience? What was your What was your favorite part of working on that set? Uh, it was just a big house party. It felt like a party. It was fun. And Taylor came through with the steady cam, and just it was interesting and a lot of fun. Awesome. Well, uh, what has been uh, your favorite? Because I know you've worked on some other films this year. What do you think has been your favorite? Uh, your favorite um, thing that happened on set this year? Um, probably one of my favorite things was working with Kyle Bailey on the film Rome. Uh, it was a very ambitious. Um, film that he was trying to do and I think it turned out really well. Unfortunately it didn't get into high bridge but I think when he finishes editing it's going to look really good and hopefully the the tripping that I did in it won't have gone to naught. <laughs> cool. Well uh, thank you for being with us tonight. Thank you for sharing yourself with the internet. Uh, enjoy the rest of the night. Uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> We've just got more people. Yeah. Uh, how are you doing tonight? Uh, I'm Jake. Uh, Hi, I'm Landers. Good to, good to see you. Yeah. Uh, are you involved with any of the films tonight? Hey, Taylor. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I worked with uh, Will McBride with his short, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, what was your favorite part of working on that set? Favorite part was um, uh, the late nights we had. Uh, it was really fun just getting to, you know, stay up all night. Oh, well, nearly all night, and uh, we had a, I think we had a great cast and crew, and it was, it was a lot of fun. Made it really easy. Awesome, yeah. Uh, are you excited uh, to watch all the films tonight? I'm really excited for that, yeah. It's my first time to Highbridge, so yeah, I'm really excited to be here. Cool, well we are excited to have you here. We're excited to have your work on the films this year. Uh, go have a great night. Right, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Well, uh, as you can see, we've just got a lot of people still filing in. Uh, oh, are you going to join us today? This is uh, Professor Greg Bandy. He's in charge of this whole project tonight. How are you doing? Doing great. we got a terrific crowd. Yes, there is a lot of people. Are they still just packed all the way around there? Always amazes and excites me to see this many people come to Highbridge. Well, uh, we asked Don and we asked a couple other people. Uh, now that this is the 10th the year of Highbridge, uh, what do you think has been your, your favorite part so far? This right here, right before it the gates open and there's just tons of people here and they're all excited they're all dressed up and uh, we got a great collection of films and I'm anxious for people to see them awesome awesome and thank you for helping us put all this on oh, hey, yeah all right. All right. have a great night well here we are High Bridge Film Festival everything's just moving right along we'll get another interview out of the way yeah hi uh, I'm Jake Terrio uh, how are you two doing what is your name my name is Katie I'm Eli. Nice to meet the both of you. Uh, uh, what are you doing uh, here at the festival? Do you have any involvement with the films? No, we're just here to see them. Right, just here to see them. Awesome, and that's totally good because we love having people here to watch the films. Um, are you excited to see the, all the films tonight? Yeah, it's always fun. Yeah, it's definitely going to be an awesome time. Awesome. Yeah, well, we are uh, grateful to have you here. It's always good to, to share this experience with the campus. Uh, have a great night. Yeah. Cool. Ooh, yeah, one more. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jake. I'm Barry. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you, Barry. Good to meet you. Um, what are you doing here at the festival tonight, other than just I'm watching the, the film? I'm on the juror. I'm a juror on the uh, judges team for the festival. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, where are you from? Uh, what brought you out here to, to this festival tonight? Well, I was invited out here uh, by Dr. Owens and uh, company and, uh, and Prof. Uh, Bandy uh, to... Uh, to look at the films and give my opinions on them. Yeah. Um, well, could I guess uh, you tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, how you got into this, this field? Uh, I worked for many years for Walt Disney Company, uh, directed a film called Mulan oh, really? for Disney, and uh, most recently uh, Walking with Dinosaurs, which came out last December. And uh, so I've been in the business for a while, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Great. That is a, that's wonderful to hear. Wonderful to meet you now that I know a little more about you. Okay, great. Yeah. Uh, have a great time tonight. We uh, look forward to uh, your input on the films. All right, thank yeah. You. Thank you. All right. Well, we have our first celebrity sighting. Oh, yeah. Here we go. So, yeah, Mulan. I have not seen that movie in a while, but it was marvelous.
Are we, uh, we're bringing more people? Yes? Would you like to go? We've got time. Huh? Okay. Uh, yeah. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing pretty well. Uh, do you have any uh, involvement with the film screening tonight? Yeah, I worked on uh, In the Beginning and History of Sadness and a few others. What was uh, your favorite experience on those sets? Um, I would say probably just doing the really creative fun for uh, History of Sadness. It's, it's just a lot of fun working with some really awesome people. Well, yeah, uh, great to have you here tonight. We're looking forward to seeing your work. Uh, enjoy the time. Yeah. We've got one more uh, celebrity with us tonight. Whew. How are you doing tonight, sir? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing very well. Uh, would you care to introduce yourself to the internet? Sure. I'm Jim Van Erden, uh, executive producer. Very nice to meet you, Jim. Uh, I'm Jake. Yeah. Uh, you looking forward to the festival tonight? Absolutely. We, uh, as judges, got a chance to screen the, the entries here, and I was very, very impressed. Uh, great quality pieces. I'm particularly excited about the short, short uh, category, uh, but uh, a lot of great work, and it's a real credit to Asbury. Well, I, I guess, uh, where are you from? How'd you come to be a, a judge for this festival? Uh, I've been an executive producer for a variety of films, short, uh, Academy Award nominee, most, um, Bella, uh, Bobby Jones' Stroke of Genius, The Ultimate Gift, and others. So both documentary, feature film, and short categories. And so I was very excited to see, uh, you know, the, just the depth of um, thoughtfulness in the pieces in this festival. It's... It's really been an impressive uh, collection. Well, we, uh, we're we certainly proud of the film screening tonight. We're great great to have you here, very glad to have you here. Uh, we always love the input from the judges. Uh, I know it's really helpful for the films I've been a part of. Uh, so enjoy well, the festival. I, I, t I tell you, we, we gave very straightforward, candid feedback. I, I, I hope that uh, the students that are participating will all really appreciate that. Uh, but again, very impressed with the quality of work. I think it's going to be a great festival. Well, we are very excited. Very glad to have you here. Uh, enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you. Yeah. How's it going today? Sorry. We'll go back to my other mark. <laughs> uh, I'm Jake. Andrea Nasfell. Hi. Nice to meet you. Uh, what are you doing here at the festival tonight? I'm here to judge the festival tonight. Actually, I'm here to enjoy the films that we've already judged and just have a good time. This is so fun. Well, uh, as a judge, uh, what necessarily is, is your background? Uh, How'd you, how'd you come to be here at the festival? I come to be here? Well, I'm a 1995 graduate of Asbury, but now I'm a screenwriter living in L.A., and um, so they asked me to come back and teach some classes about writing and just be here for the judging. So. Well, we are very glad to have you here. Uh, I assume you're, you're excited to watch everything again tonight? Definitely, definitely. Awesome. Well, we are very glad to have you here, uh, and enjoy the rest of the festival. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and we just have more and more lines of people just walking on in. It's a marvelous time here tonight. You can feel the excitement building uh, as we get ready to screen all the films. Oh, we got one more. Here we go. <laughs> How are you doing here tonight? Hi, great. Hi. Uh, care to introduce yourself to all the beautiful yes, people? Yes, I'm Kathy Campbell. I'm with Heyman Talent Louisville, and I'm excited to be here. We are excited to have you here. Um, what are you most looking forward to tonight at this festival? I want to see the awards given out and the filmmakers and see who's behind the films that we saw. Awesome. Well, we are looking forward to that, too. Yeah, we were at a workshop together yesterday. Yeah. Well, um, uh, I am briefly in two of the films tonight. Uh, the other films I were in uh, did not make it into the festival, unfortunately. But uh, I'm very much looking forward to the one screening here tonight. Yeah. Yeah, let's have a great night. Right, thank you. Uh, enjoy the rest of it. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, I think those are uh, almost all of our judges, if not all of them. It's great to have them here tonight. Uh, they uh, they came in early. They watched all the films. Uh, um, they gave all the directors feedback. Uh, yeah. I guess that's what judges do. Yeah, so we are here uh, just waiting for the rest of the evening to begin as people file in. Uh, we've got all these, a lot of wonderful films, a lot of them. It's going to be great. Yeah. And uh, this DeLorean is beautiful as we get more interviews coming. We'll talk more about the DeLorean later. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's uh, bring one more up. Yeah. How you doing tonight? I'm doing really well. Good to <laughs> yeah. see you. Good to see you, too. Uh, care to introduce yourself for the Internet? Yes. Uh, I'm Thomas Walters and uh, ARD of Trustees, proud member of Moose. Moose. Um, 
Are you looking forward to watching the films tonight, or are you, are you involved with, with any of them? I'm not involved with any of them, but uh, yeah, looking forward to watching them. Yeah. Um, well, as uh, an ARD, I guess are uh, any of the people on, on your hall in any of the films? Oh yeah, several of them uh, worked on several films. I'm not sure of anybody that's actually in them, but I know a lot of guys have been busy with working on uh, different films. It's been a lot of late nights, a lot of uh, a lot of film shoots late into the the evenings that I've been hearing about. So I'm looking forward to seeing their work. I know we often write down on the sign-in sheet, "We were at a film." Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Well, uh, we're glad to have you here tonight. Uh, great for coming out, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. Well, thank you so much. I yeah. Appreciate it. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, we've got um, another part of the great community here at Asbury is uh, the individual identity of our halls. Uh, like we said before, I'm on Nerd, he's on Moose. Bonding in trustees. Oh, we have with us Dr. Jim Owens, head of the Media Communications Department. How are you doing tonight, sir? Very good. Um, well, you are obviously a big part of what happens here tonight. Uh, what do you think has been your uh, favorite part of this whole experience in these past 10 years of Highbridge and the history of the communications department? I think my favorite, the, the reason I think we have this celebrate students, and to me it's just a, a great celebration at the end of the year for students to have fun. Uh, so many of our students are involved in the, these projects that it, it's great for them all to get together and, and perform in front of 1,400 people, plus the people online. Um, this is the first year we're doing this online, correct? Right, and so we're excited about it. It's something new. Yeah, well, we are all about the beautiful new things. Uh, what are you th lo most looking forward to tonight? I haven't seen any of these films, except the high school entry, which my daughter was involved with. She edited. But otherwise, I haven't seen any of them, so I'm excited to just to see them. Awesome. Well, I'm very excited, too. I've only seen a couple of them. Uh, because friends produced them and stuff like that. Uh, we are, of course, very grateful to have you here, very grateful for you coming out tonight. Uh, enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. All right, see you. Oh, we have here the president of the college, university, school, <laughs> uh, Dr. Sandra Gray. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. Yeah. How are you? I'm doing very well. Uh, we're, of course, very grateful for having you here. Uh, what are you uh, most looking forward to tonight? I'm looking forward to some good films entertainment and to see what great creative imaginations that our students have come up with. Um, in the history, because this is the 10th anniversary of the festival, what do you think has been your, your favorite part of these experiences? My favorite part really is just the community, the energy, the excitement, the fellowship that comes out of it. I mean, always the films are good, but just as we see tonight, there's an energy pulsing, and I just love that part of the community. Well, we are uh, very grateful for the work you've done here for us and uh, very grateful to have you here tonight and hope you enjoy all the films. Yeah, thank you. We have a, uh, ooh, here we go. <laughs> we have a wonderful, uh, wonderful evening planned. Uh, a lot of uh, important people coming in, a lot of important people walking up these beautiful steps into the historic Hughes Auditorium. Um, as we get ready to start the festival tonight, um, I really, there's so many good things that could be said about uh, this festival. It's such um, a community builder, like we've mentioned before. People just coming together to watch these, uh, these student-made productions. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, we've got Jake McCoy. He's an actor in films. Jake, you want to come down here and interview for the internet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Jake, are you involved with any of the films tonight? Well, my music video is showing. Take me away. So, that's, yeah. Uh, well, you've been to the festival a couple times before. What do you think has been your, your favorite part? Well, it's just fun to see, uh, you know, just everybody's year-long projects that they put together and all the involvement with, between everybody, you know? Awesome. Well, uh, hope you have a great time tonight. Thank, thank you. you for coming out and standing in front of the Internet. Enjoy. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Whew. Oh, Brown Rig Wolves. Here he is, the director himself. You have a, a film showing tonight, yes, or two films? Uh, two. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, what was uh, your favorite experience working on, on those? I think for me it was um, Two Daras, the documentary on Daras, and um, finding out her story and some, some things that I didn't know was happening and that I can share with the world and hopefully we're able to do something to help her um, get through this next trial of retirement. So you've got a documentary and then a, a narrative showing? Awesome. Well, um, what has been your favorite part of uh, 
your Highbridge experiences the past couple of years? The last couple of years, it's definitely very rewarding seeing your hard work out in front of people to enjoy and see and to get the critical feedback um, from people afterwards as well. To know that it's being watched and being appreciated definitely means a lot. And also seeing other people's films and seeing where you can learn um, from their experiences. Everyone brings a different point of view and uh, it's fascinating. Yeah, I love it. Awesome. Well, we are grateful to have you here tonight and we're looking forward to watching you, your films sure. tonight. Yeah, thanks for coming out. Thanks. Yeah. Well, we are almost ready for the films to begin screening. Uh, we've just got a few more people trickling in as the sun sets behind uh, the Johnson Hall uh, and we get ready to turn all the lights out inside and watch the films together. We, um, it's exciting. This is an exciting time. We've got a couple more people coming in. We've got people running. I have a man running to meet me. Ladies and gentlemen of the internet, Hi, this is director Zach Brewer. Uh, how are you doing tonight, Zach? I'm great. I'm great. Awesome. Uh, you have a film screening tonight, yes? Yes. It's called Getaway. Sorry. No. Sorry. What? Yeah. No, you go. I was just going to say it's a comedy. That's it. Okay. Awesome. Uh, well, what was your favorite part of working on that film? Uh, just the, you know, how f the actors really enjoyed it, I think. They got really into it. And so it's just like a bunch of people like yelling at each other. And it was fun to just sit there and like, huh, this awesome. is fun. Well, uh, this is the 10th anniversary of High Bridge. What do you think has been your favorite part? Let's bring Shannon over here, because she's awesome. Um, this is Shannon Baker. She is a marvelous actress. And uh, Shannon, are you in anything tonight? I am in Getaway, directed by Zach. And uh, Relationship Wrecked, directed by Megan Case, who's awesome as well. Well, what uh, was your favorite part of working on those this year? Uh, just the people. They're all my friends, so that's why they cast me. Um, yeah, they're all so much fun, and I love, well, he's my boyfriend, obviously, so <laughs> I love working with him. <laughs> awesome. Well, we are looking forward to watching all the films tonight, and we're about to get everything's underway, so I'm going to let you all go grab your seats. Okay. Thank you for coming out tonight. Thanks, yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, we are, ladies and gentlemen, just about to get started. Um, we have... Uh, just a couple commercials to show you before we get the festival underway. So I guess we'll be showing to you, we'll be showing those to you in just a couple of moments as the final people start to trickle in and everybody gets ready. Everything is going to be marvelous. We've got uh, just walking up the steps into the dramatic last light going into the festival because this is marvelous. And it's going to be a great show. Welcome to the Camry Thrill Ride. I had no idea we were capable of doing something like that. I'm shaking right now. Toyota Nicholasville, where price sells cars. Toyota Camry. Let's go places. What is your favorite memory of an L81? Probably my dad driving me out to the country store and getting the L8 and sitting on the back of the truck and drinking it. Growing up as a young man and family reunions and cookouts and the coolers were always full of that green bottle that, that uh, everybody loved to drink. Uh, sitting on my mother-in-law's back porch, pop open an L8 and chatting with her. I don't got no memories pretty much. I'm losing them. mine. No one can save you now. Not even I'll protect you. Captain Amazing. I'm my hero. 
Let her go, Arachnus. Now, why would I do that? Put her down or face the consequences. <laughs> Don't be silly. I have the upper hand. Remarka boy. All right, have it your way. Face, meet the consequences. you only have a 22% chance of survival. That's less than ideal. Captain, they're just puppies. They're not worth it. One day, one day, Remarka boy, they will be dogs. But what if you get hurt? Then I get hurt.
ends. As you can see, the steps are much, much emptier. Uh, we've got 14 student films to show you, uh, one high school film, and we are, of course, really looking forward to watching those today. We're going to have uh, just one, a couple more interviews uh, before we get going. Uh, would you care to come down? <laughs> uh, I'm Jake. Would you care to introduce Middle yourself the country, for the internet? It's about as far from Hi, I'm as Abby. Get. But a little over 10 years ago, a few of us here had a dream. We thought we could help create something that would encourage a whole new generation of storytellers. After all, telling a story through a movie is probably one of the most educational things you can ever do. Because first, it should make you think about what it means to be a human being. Then you have to write it down, express it, so someone else can understand it. Along the way, it requires interaction with other people whose talents and gifts are probably different from yours. And you have to understand a bit about technology and engineering. It's a lot of hard work, but in the end, you have something to share with others. Our vision, our hope, has always been to encourage young filmmakers to dream, create, and inspire, and to keep sharing their stories. Wow, 10 years. I decided to wear a tie tonight to uh, honor that. Uh, I'm just so glad to see each and every one of you here this evening. It's an honor to have worked with the young men and women who have produced this event tonight and all the filmmakers that have made stories for us. That said, we have a very special greeting from the governor's wife. And after that, I'm going to ask our president, Dr. Sandra Gray, to come up and give us the invocation. Good evening, film lovers from throughout the state and across the country. As First Lady of the Commonwealth of Kentucky, I am so pleased that one of our state's most prestigious institutions, Asbury College, is hosting the esteemed Highbridge Film Festival for the 10th annual year. I'm sorry that I cannot join you for this year's festival, as I am an avid supporter of the Kentucky film industry and of cultivating young artistic talent in our state. The Asbury University Media Communications Department sets a high bar for learning and achievements for its students, offering them hands-on experiences and teaching both the technical and narrative film skills. And through this festival, the college provides an outlet for students to be creative and put their skills to the test in front of an audience of their peers, Asbury faculty and industry professionals. This festival offers young filmmakers the experience of interacting with like-minded people and learning directly from television and film professionals. It's an invaluable experience that I know will inspire the students to work hard at their craft and go after their dreams. Thank you to everyone for taking part in this special event, especially to the filmmakers whose entries were selected to be a part of the 2014 festival. Congratulations on your achievement and best of luck in your future endeavors. I look forward to viewing this year's selections. Welcome. Welcome to each one of you. It's a wonderful occasion. We're so excited to be here. And this 10th year is a special occasion and a, a special celebration for us. So I want to welcome each one of you. For those of you that are here for the very first time, we're glad that you're here. 
For our alumni that have come back and perhaps been here a number of times, we're glad to see you. But most of all students, I'll tell you, we would not be here if it were not for you. We are here for our students. And so we thank you, students, for answering the call to use your talents and gifts and abilities and your imaginations and your dreams in a way that furthers the kingdom of God. So thank you for your faithfulness. Would you join me in prayer? Lord Jesus, we thank you for who you are, for your creativity that you have placed within each of your sons and daughters, every man and woman, boy and girl. Have you, we each have unique talents and gifts and our own experiences and our dreams that do need to be told. And so, Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to gather this evening and to have fellowship and laughter and for our hearts to be challenged in ways that perhaps we haven't even been challenged with before. And so we give you this evening. We thank you, Lord, that, uh, that this is a place in which difficult conversations and matters can be discussed. And we thank you, Lord, that you are the God of all truth, divine truth, who places your truth within us. And so we are looking forward this evening to your creativity that will be coming forth on screen. I pray for the students, particularly those that have been involved in the filmmaking. And Lord, we pray for their futures and that you would continue to use them in a way that will make eternal differences in the days ahead. And so thank you, Lord, for being with us. And we pray that everything that is seen and said and done in this evening will glorify and honor you. And we pray these things, Jesus. In your holy, wonderful name, amen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 10th Annual Highbridge Film Festival here at Adbridge. Buenos noches, senores y señores, y bienvenidos a la Highbridge. Okay. Gabe, what are you doing? Well, since we were the first multicultural couple to ever host <laughs> this prestigious awards, I thought that we might as well make it authentic. Honey, you're from Ohio. Yeah. Good try, though, good try. Speaking of not being from Kentucky, if you have any family members that would like to watch online, you can send them a quick text right now to dub and log on to www.hybridfilmfestival.com and they can watch the first ever simulcast on there. That's right. And we would like to welcome you to the pinnacle of the Asbury University Mediacom Department and the annual classiest night of the semester. <laughs> That's right. We are honored to be your host for this evening. I'm Gabriel Willison. And I'm Paula Diaz, and it'll be our pleasure to take all of you through tonight. You know, when Gabe and I found out that we were gonna be this year's host, we went, be walk, we went <laughs> back and watched Ellen in the Oscars of this past year to get a couple of tips from her. However, we are too poor to bring all of you pizza, and we were unable to get a selfie with Dr. Gray. Sorry. <laughs> and speaking of selfies, I see some of you gentlemen have dusted off those suits while some of you ladies have spent way too much on a dress that you'll only wear once. Hey, it is all about being fabulous. Like yesterday, when I was trying to get my nails done, I could not decide on a color. So I decided to go to the French dip. And don't even get me started on my hair. Right, and as for the gentlemen, we threw on a shirt, combed our hair. Really, the hardest question was what color tie would we wear today? But enough about us. Tonight is all about our filmmakers and the hard work that they've put in this year. You know, you can always tell when it's hybrid season here at Asbury. Just the other day, I was walking to Sipo and I was almost in someone's film. Right. You know, too bad we didn't actually make it into the film festival this year. Yeah, I have no clue why Public Bathroom didn't make it into hybrid. Me neither. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh well. I guess we'll just stick to what we do best, MCing. And we'll let the 14 films for tonight uh, do the rest. That's right. Normally at this point of the introduction, we would go over a little of the history of the High Ridge Film Festival. But tonight we're going to save that for the end when we will celebrate its 10th anniversary and look back at some of its best moments. In the meantime, let's say hello to our fabulous judges for tonight's festival. First, let's welcome Mr. Jim Van Eerden. Mr. Van Eerden is the managing partner for a national merchant bank where he runs the firm's media and social good initiatives. Jim has also served as executive producer for several award-winning feature films, including the Academy Award short film nominee entitled Most. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. That's all right. <laughs> The next judge we would like to welcome is Andrea Nasfell. Not only is Ms. Nasfell an Asbury alumna, but she is also an award-winning screenwriter whose most recently produced film is the family comedy Mom's Night Out, directed by the Irwin Brothers. Next on our list of judges is Mr. Barry Cook. Mr. Cook is a veteran of film and animation with more than 30 years of experience. He is best recognized as the director of Disney's 1998 movie, Mulan. His, yeah. His most recent work was with 20th Century Fox picture Walking with Dinosaurs that was released in December of last year. Last and certainly not least is Ms. Kathy Campbell. Ms. Campbell is the owner of Heyman Talent Louisville. Heyman Talent Agency has become one of the strongest agencies in the Midwest. Kathy has booked roles on commercials, television shows, industrials, feature films, and many other projects. Yes, it's professionals like our judges that make the High Bridge Film Festival so unique. And we want to thank them one more time for being here tonight and making this all possible. The High Bridge team began using the phrase, dream, create, inspire, as a theme of this year's festival. Up to this point, the dreaming and creating have already been completed. So prepare to be inspired. Yeah. <laughs> In addition to our university student submissions, Asbury has a separate category that allows up-and-coming high school students to participate in the festival. The Highbridge High School Award also includes a $1,000 scholarship to Asbury University. This year, the winning film was directed by West Jessamine High School's Jesse Seals. This movie was a final project. <laughs> yes. The movie was a final project for Jesse Stop Motion Club, Moving Pictures. Ladies and gentlemen, feast friends.
was awesome. Excuse me. And uh, congratulations, Jesse. And now with that scholarship, you have no choice. You gotta come to Asbury. <laughs> oh, now. <clears throat> now is the moment that many of you have been waiting for, the student films. These films will be competing for different awards in production, acting, music, and also competing for your vote of audience favorite. We'll be sure to talk more about that soon, but in the meantime, be thinking about which one you'll vote for. From animated bees to generic college students who haven't figured out love yet. Each film is uniquely different, but equally inspiring. To start off the university film category, we give you The Provider by Brownrigg Rules. Look, I just, I just need some time alone. You understand what I'm saying, right?
Uh, Mr. Tyler, there you are. He called for you about 15 minutes ago. He hasn't said a word since. We were wondering if you were even gonna show up. Well, believe it or not, some of us still drive. Hmm. Where is he? I was in the interrogation room. And uh, where's his lawyer? He only wanted to speak to you. I'll leave you to it, sir. It must make you sick. I mean, after all this, after the, you know, the media backlash, the trial. So what's the deal? I mean, two months of silence and you won't talk to reporters, TV, not even your own lawyer. And you asked to talk to me. Why? I want to confess. Well, we sure could have used your confession at the beginning of this mess, but I don't need it now. But uh, I will hear you out. I'm a murderer. Mass murderer. Remember, public enemy number one. Killer of every person who has ever teleported with your technology. We know this already. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry too. But I'm sorry doesn't change anything. You know, give me something useful. Imagine creating a technology with endless possibilities. Something that could change the world. Then imagine your own creation stabbing you in okay, the Okay, Mr. Allen, we're all grateful for your contributions. But it doesn't change anything. It changed everything. Transportation, trade, medicine. I ended wars. I made the world a better place. Yeah, sure. And then we found Eden. Do you still live on Earth, Mr. Tyler? Yes. Really? I imagined a government employee of your status would have left already. Well, I'm not scheduled to immigrate for another couple years, but I'm sure my name will move considerably higher up the list after this business is over. Do you remember the first time you saw Eden? Yes, who doesn't? I mean, it was on every TV channel for years. I mean, Earth's atmosphere, freshwater oceans, abundant resources, I mean, it was all anybody could talk about. It was beautiful. You know I was on that ship, the one that discovered it. And I lived on Eden for years, but... But what? Ignore the fact that your technology kills people? The fact that any time someone teleports, their atoms are torn apart? No, not that. I couldn't ignore the fact that you were all lied to. Lied to about what? About Eden. Did you ever find it strange that the perfect planet was just sitting in the universe untouched? Did you really think we were the first to find it? Okay, Alan, I am sick of your conspiracies, all right? Your technology kills. That's why you're here today. Would you like to know the truth? I know how much you hate teleportation. But this is my true confession. A teleportation device. Alan, you've been in here for five years. How do you have this? I invented teleportation. Why are you so surprised? Time's up, Counselor. See you at the sentencing, Mr. Tyler. Today, the once praised inventor of teleportation, Richard Allen, was found guilty of all charges by a jury of his peers. The trial took nearly five years, and the most hated man in history was sentenced to death. His execution will be broadcasted on all state networks. Ever since the verdict was passed, celebrations in major cities on Earth and Eden have already begun gathering in a festive atmosphere surrounding the news of Allen's sentencing. The government has declared this week a national day of celebration and...
is Commander Richard Allen. Codename Eden is in sight. Proceed as planned. Uh, yes, sir. Firing in three, two, one. Order executed, sir. Contact from the planet has ceased. No life forms detected. Colonization is a green light. Contact the fleet. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna shoot her. Where? Right between the eyes. And why? So she'll see it coming. You're ready. Let's do it. Hello, right, boy. I'll be in the car. I'm sorry, little puppet, but it's time for you to go. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. You're not going to change my mind. I'm a killer. I want to put you down. Come on. People call me the Easter Island Head because I'm a stone cold killer. Yeah. No! Hey. Kill. I'm sorry, mate. What's wrong with you, Daddy? Uh, look, I can't kill Delilah, all right? Who's Delilah? The dog. Her name's Delilah. It's what a caller says. Daddy, why are we doing this? Because we need the money. And why, Daddy? Do we need the money? Because I blew all the money on that horse that died before the race. Yes, I know. That's right. And Miss Diana, my dear old Yankee neighbor, told me that she would give us 600 American dollars if we killed her neighbor's noisy mutt. Yes, I know, but look. There's no butts, Daddy. Just dead mutts. No. Don't you do this, Daddy. Uh, we've been best mates all our life, but I'm not gonna let you get in the way of this one. Well then, waste me then. My life is tied to Delilah's. That dog needs to be dead! No one has to be dead! Delilah needs to be dead! Get out of it, Daddy! Oi, what's she doing? She's playing dead. How adorable!
tobacco farming was it's something I knew. Uh, it's what my granddaddy did, uh, my dad did it, and then I ended up doing it. Well, tobacco farming put me through college. It paid a lot of bills. It helped me buy this house. Uh, it puts food on my table. It creates jobs for some people that might not have the edge. I've got some guys that work for me uh, part-time that can't hold a steady job. Um, I don't know, I, I think it's good for the economy as far as getting money out there and getting it uh, rolled over several times. Land is down, it's usually because you have cigarette taxes that uh, are making people not buy cigarettes, uh, health issues. Uh, I'd say the farming population is getting older. People are retiring and, and the younger ones just aren't getting into it. They're, they're getting jobs off the farm. And, uh, this is the last year for the program, you know, they, they had a buyout. And the farmers got, well, the landowner got a right good deal out of it, but the people like my sons that was tenants, they didn't, they didn't do them right, I didn't think. The other misconception is that the tobacco growers got the lion's share of the money, and uh, that is not true. I, I'm a tenant farmer, and the tenant farmers, uh, I raised 100,000 pounds, so it was $10 a pound for the buyout, which is a million dollars. It would have been spread over 10 years. Well, I didn't get but uh, $150,000 of that, and the people that I grow the tobacco for that aren't tobacco farmers got $850,000. So the doctors and lawyers that own the land got the lion's share of that money, and the people that do the back-breaking work only got a, a small portion of it. Even in our county, there's not that many tobacco farmers left, so I can see it uh, diminishing in a little at a time. Today it's every man for itself, but uh, tobacco pays a lot of bills, it always has. It generates a lot of tax revenue. Uh, I know there are health issues that go along with that. I also enjoyed working with my family day in and day out. We took lunch together, we had supper together. You know, not many people got to do that uh, growing up. I like the family aspect of it, uh, is what I really appreciated over my life. My dad's in the middle, this is Ray, Harful, this is Pete, and this is Buster. No, tobacco farming, as far as I'm concerned, I, I, I like the old days when our families got together, we would uh, work for each other, our neighbors, we'd all get together, we'd put our neighbor's crop in, he'd come and help us put our crop in. And it was a big event at, at the harvest time to get together and, and, and work together as a neighborhood. And uh, that's some of the stuff I miss. It's going to end with me because my daughter is uh, hopefully has a career in the medical field and uh, she won't be participating in the farm. And with the medical field, I just felt like that was more job security. That was one thing I was glad of that I didn't have a son, uh, just because I didn't want them to face, you know, it's, it's just a tough occupation. It's uh, a hard occupation to uh, be able to make a living, I think now, as, as opposed as it was when I was uh, getting started. 
I would have hated for them to have done that uh, just because I just don't think tobacco's gonna be around much longer. I guess, you know, time changes everything and uh, it's just time to move on to something else. This is Nate. Nate is breaking up with Amy. This is Amy. As of five minutes ago, Nate and Amy were in a lengthy relationship. Now, Nate is dumping Amy for a cheerleader he met when he went on that university tour with his band. But I love you, she says. This isn't easy for me to do, he would reply. I cannot believe this. You ruined my life. That's not fair, come on. You're making a scene. I don't care if I make a scene. Relationships are hard. Look, all I'm saying is she better not be in there watching the notebook. That's like the lowest a girl can get. Hi! Hey. Hi! Hey. I really appreciate you guys coming over, but I just have zero interest in dating anyone right now. Who said anything about dating? We are going clubbing. Clubbing? Amy does not like clubbing. Hey, you wanna dance? What kind of coffee? Uh, something strong, a uh, venti, espresso, or I, I don't know. Morning after? Perfect. Uh, you look like you got in with the wrong crowd last night. <laughs> yeah, and I had to take four bus connections to get home, so. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, not calling him back, huh? Yeah, yeah you could say that again. <laughs> Maybe it was the scent of coffee but something about him seemed warm, familiar even. It happens, uh, but thanks, uh, Stu. Steve. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, thanks, Steve. Sure thing. Amy wasn't looking forward to this. 
no one wants to be on a blind double date. So, what do you write about? Aliens. Mostly. Like, Star Wars? Amy hasn't seen Star Wars. N no, not science fiction aliens, real aliens. He said that. Yep. And not only did he say that, he actually believes that we're gonna get overrun by the year 2015. And you're not going on a second date with him? I'm here by myself, aren't I? I feel like I give off some weird pheromone or something. Or maybe it's like in that movie, you know, The Usual Suspects. I, I've never seen that, what's that about? Never mind. The girls had pulled out the big guns. They had to go to a house party. I've got to get new friends. What did you say? I said, oh, I don't know. Let's go inside. And a month later, I took Becky Laszlo to the prom. Is that supposed to mean something to me? <laughs> uh, yeah, she is like the hottest girl in school. I'm sure she is. Oh, she is. All right, uh, Mr. Sports, I have a lady friend and I need to talk to her about lady stuff, so. That's gross, yeah. uh, but uh, right on. Hello? Hey, Amy. What's up? Um, well, I was just wondering um, if you would be interested in doing something normal sometime. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'd, I'd love to. Um, uh, what works for you? Uh, well, I don't know. Um, you're the guy. Maybe you can figure it out. <laughs> Okay, um, how, how about we get dinner after I get off work tomorrow? That sounds great. 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 You're pretty normal yourself. Also, do you live in the middle of nowhere? Because I feel like we've been driving forever. You really don't remember me, do you? What? It's, it's the glasses. It's the glasses, isn't it? I don't know what you're... Steve Anderson from, from Sarah Wilson's wedding? The Wilson wedding. That was where Amy first met Steve who at the time did not wear glasses. The one and only. Steve, I swear I called you back. You know what, Amy, I don't want to hear it anymore, okay? Look, all you do is, is walk out on guys and act like it's no big deal. I... It is a big deal. Yeah, it sucks. What? I'm leaving you here, alone. See how you like it. Steve, are you kidding? We're in the middle of nowhere. Get out of my car, Amy. <sighs> This does suck. What are you doing here? Uh, hey, hi. Um, I just think that we both have made a mistake, and I wanted to start over. So, uh, we're good, friends? Yeah, yeah, friends. Also, how do you know where I live? I just called your boss and got your address. Okay, that, that's kind of creepy. Yeah, uh, it but, is. <laughs> uh, cool. <laughs> well, come on in. Okay, cool. This is Amy. As of five days ago, she never thought she'd be happy being single. But now, she is.
Interesting. Yes. Definitely interesting. What do you think the artist was thinking when she was doing this? They obviously didn't like the reflection very much. <laughs> I just art like this just annoys me. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like the artist really had anything in mind other than what do I have to do to get this project done? I mean. How long do you think this took? I mean, it's five seconds, a minute. <laughs> it's a broken mirror. You just, mm. as far as you know, you. I mean, Mara might have just found this in the trash. I don't know. I'm not an artist. Maybe Mara thinks simplicity is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Do you know what it means? I mean, it's one mirror, but obviously there are two sides. Maybe Mara is just trying to say, choose which side you want to see yourself in. Mm -hmm. Just seems like you can smear your crap on anything these days and call it art. Yeah, well. It's not the worst I've ever seen, sorry. I'm, I'm being really negative, I just think it's all a waste of time, but it, it, it's nice. Well, it uh, looks like they're closing, so. Mm. Yeah. Nice talking to you. Thanks for your interpretation. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Start moving in that direction, but thank you. Yeah. Great work, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. Two roads diverged in the yellow wood.
roads diverged in the yellow wood. And sorry I could not take both and be one traveler. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could, then took the other. I shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere, ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by. And it has made all the difference. Let's give another round of applause for our first sets of university films. We've had some great ones so far, and there's still plenty more to see. Speaking of seeing, if you happen to see Gabe, tell him he has exactly 10 minutes to make it back here back on stage because it is now time for intermission. Bathrooms are located right behind you guys downstairs. See you guys back here in 10 minutes. And for now, enjoy the sounds of the Asbury University Jazz Ensemble. We'll be right back. I'm here on the door, the steps of Hughes as we uh, run into our intermission. The sun here has set. Uh, and we're just going to wait a couple of minutes and let everybody get a little breather. Um, yeah, some great films. Uh, we were in there watching them, just loving it. Uh, if you didn't notice, there was the one brief moment that I was in that I had a very scraggly neck beard. It was kind of gross, but the movie was good. Will's a great director. I hope he uh, gets rec more recognition for that. Some people are starting to come out. Uh, we'll probably get some people trickling down here. Um, yeah, now we just have to get ready for the second half, see the other other set of movies we have in store. Um, I know we've definitely got some good ones, but uh, of the ones we've seen, some great directing, some great acting, uh, some great audio. I know a friend of mine, Shelby Watson, did audio for a couple of those. He's a genius, scores a ton of stuff all across campus. It's, it's just marvelous. He's really quite talented. Um, but yeah, so we are here as uh, the night rolls on, and the cinema continues to be interesting. Um, yeah, it's a, good, it's a good night here in Wilmore. It's a good night for film. It's a good night for friends. Uh, we have a reception in the Miller Building later this evening, in which we'll have even more community and friendship, because Asbury loves community and friendship. It's marvelous. Oh, we've got... Um, we're going to get Paula out here. Uh, if you were watching earlier, you would see she and Gabe were hosting. So uh, we're going to get here out here, do another little brief interview. It's going to be marvelous. So, yeah. We, uh, she, she's just coming right over here. How you doing tonight, Paula? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm doing great. So uh, what's it been like in there? How's it feel hosting the show? It has been such an honor. It's been so exciting. I am loving absolutely every second. I was just telling Ben when he was running me down here is just how excited I've been. So it's been so great. Awesome. Now, uh, I have a, a quick question just about like the process of the setup and everything. I know uh, you and Gabe auditioned. Uh, now, did you come up with a lot of your own material or did you and uh, uh, Prof. Bandy have like a collaborative effort on that? Or what was the story behind uh, uh, all the stuff you've done. Well, actually, for our audition, we had to have our intro prepared. And so Gabe actually whipped it right up. He did it super fast. It was um, so incredible just how fast it all came together. And then we had to have kind of an 
um, impromptu in case everything was to go wrong inside, just something that we would do to, you know, take over, you know, to make sure while technical, technical um, circumstances got in the way. And so um, mainly Gabe wrote the majority of the script with some of my input and Prof Bandy and um, Ben Garvick and Veda Bennett have actually been in the process of, you know, helping us tweak it here and there, but it was mainly Gabe who did it a lot of it. And it looks like you're having a ton of fun up there. Uh, what have you thought about the film so far? They are incredible. I'm loving everybody's creativity. I'm um, loving all of the messages. You know, there have been some really funny ones, like Relationship Wrecked was one that we just finished watching, and I absolutely enjoyed that one a lot. Um, and uh, Broken, that was also a great one. So all of the films are just so incredible. Yeah, well, we look forward to the second half of the show. Uh, you and Gabe are doing a great job. Uh, just keep having fun up there. Yeah, and thank you for coming out and joining us. Yeah, have a good rest of the night. Yeah. Do we have... Oh, we have more people. Here are some of our very talented directors and camera ops. Are we getting y'all here or just one at a time? I don't know. This, okay, Kyle, get over here. No, you're not. Get over here. Well, at least we have the beautiful Taylor Decker, and we have Kyle Teeley and Kyle Bailey. It's the Kyles and the Taylor. Well, <laughs> gentlemen, uh, what do you think so far? Um, I'm impressed. It's been pretty solid for Highbridge. It's been a lot of fun, you know. A lot of good films, and people are enjoying them. So the vibe and there's a good vibe. Yeah, yours was getting a lot, a lot of laughs, a lot of good feedback. How, how'd that feel as a director to see your film up there, getting so much uh, enjoyment from the audience? Oh, it felt great if it was a uh, drama, but <laughs> no. but it was funny. Yeah, people enjoyed it. So yeah, I, you know, it's good. I just freeze. Yeah. Well, uh, you gentlemen have all uh, been around the block before a couple of times. What uh, I was asking people this before the show, and I'll ask you guys as well. What was um, or what has been your favorite moment or your favorite part of uh, Highbridge as a whole this year? Or any or year? Ever. Yeah. Wow. Um, my sophomore or freshman year, Olivia Wardwell and Luke Beavers hosted, and it was like not awkward or strange, and it was probably the best hosting I've seen, and it made the whole thing super solid. Even like, even though the whole thing wasn't. They wrapped it all up in a way that was so entertaining, and it was just so much fun to see them host it. Oh, my favorite! Uh, I just like getting to share the moment with people. You know, each year there's always like a spet little moment um, that you just kind of share with the audience as a whole, and that's always just a really cool moment. You can't really pinpoint it, but there's always one movie or one you know moment for myself personally that just kind of really kicks in, and you know, as a unit. I think for me, yeah, it's a long reach. I think for me, uh, the first year I had something that I had worked on and spent a lot of time on in Highbridge and then had it win, which was uh, last year was Swing Out, won Best Documentary. Uh, that was a really, really good feeling because all that hard work had finally paid off and it was, it was worth it. Not that it's not worth it anyway, <laughs> but yeah, it's still uh, it's nice to be appreciated and, and to win something. Awesome. Well, uh, gentlemen, um, we have, of course, another second half of the show, another set of great movies. Uh, are you excited? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, plus, um, I uh, just got word that I'm pretty sure, I think I heard someone say that Barack Obama is watching this. So, hello, Mr. President. Hi. Maybe I'll meet you in person sometime. Shalom. <laughs> Welcome to Highbridge. All right. Well... <laughs> Uh, thank you, gentlemen, for coming out. Um, have a great second half of the show. Yeah, awesome. Enjoy the evening. Lose well. <laughs> um, are we bringing more people up here? We got Chandler, we got Nathaniel. Who wants to come up? <laughs> or both. We could do that. All right. This, uh, this is Chandler Vance and Nathaniel Winkler. Uh, Nathaniel, I know you have a, uh, a film in this uh, today. Uh, Chandler, are you involved with any of the projects? I am. I'm playing a nerd in Hezekiah Crocker's The Effects of Love. Awesome. Um, we were talking to Jen Silver and uh, Lucy Allen earlier about their work on your film. Um, what do you think has been your favorite uh, part of the production process of your animation? The production process? Uh, oh my goodness. I always love the character design process, like the actual part where the, design, the artists come up with multiple designs and I'm like, okay, which one looks the best? I always love that section. Um, but I'd say my favorite is starting to see the final product come together. You work months and months and months and you never see anything that looks any remotely finalized and it's not until a render like six months into the project that you actually see something that you've worked on. So I think that's my favorite part, seeing it all come together.
Well, uh, I know you've been to Highbridge before, but Chandler, this is your first Highbridge, yes? This is my very first Highbridge. <laughs> how's, how's it feeling so far? Um, well, I'm waiting on Meryl Streep to walk in the door any second, and I have faith She's that late. she will. Yeah. It's really exciting, though. Like, the jazz band's amazing, and everything that they have is just incredible. Awesome. Uh, yeah. And, Nathaniel, what has been, do you think, your favorite uh, past Highbridge experience? Oh, my goodness. My favorite one? Uh, it might have to be, it was the 2009 Highbridge they had um, Johan Park was a part of a film called um, For Jacob, and it was amazing. It was incredible. Um, but not only just the film, but the atmosphere. They've kept the jazz band, which I love. That's my favorite part of Highbridge completely. Uh, I just want to get up and dance to it, honestly. <laughs> but I'm not allowed to quite yet. Yeah. And we got to thank Dr. Flanagan and the Jazz Ensemble if, if any uh, friends and family of theirs are watching out. Because they are awesome. I played with them last year. My roommate, Carson Childers, plays bass with them. Uh, Gabe, actually the host, should be playing drums with them right now. Oh, maybe. maybe. that's where he was. Right? I don't know. We weren't really sure where he went. Yeah, he runs off. He plays the drums. So, yeah. We well, gentlemen, uh, thank you for coming out. Yeah, thank you for, awesome. for working so hard this year. And um, enjoy the rest of the night. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Hi, Mo. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I guess we're, we're getting close again to... Uh, ooh. Someone's calling me. Yes, come down here, Katie. They said they're watching me. Oh, all right. Katie wants to say hi to her parents. Hi, parents, and probably my little brother. I don't actually know, but they said, come outside so we can see you. So here I am. Well, do you mind if I ask you a couple questions while you're here? Uh, no, I'd rather you not. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right, well, um, so you've been to Highbridge a couple of times, yes? yes. Uh, do you have perhaps a favorite moment or a favorite experience from uh, past hybrids? Well, uh, the past two years I was in a hem, the a cappella group that we had, and we would always sing for the people waiting in line. And um, a hem's not together this year, so we didn't do that. But I really liked that before. That was my favorite, probably. But well, uh, of the films we've seen so far, what do you think has been your favorite? I really liked uh, Responsible, the one by Will McBride, and I, you were in that, that's right, and I don't know, Play Dead was really funny, and there was another one that I really liked, um, gosh, I can't remember what it was now all of a sudden. Well, anyway. yeah, <laughs> I'm glad you said that uh, you thought Play Dead was funny, because I told Kyle that earlier, and he's like, well, it was a drama, but... <laughs> Oh, well. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, um, hope you enjoy the rest of the night. Thank yeah. You Thank you so for much. coming, saying hi to your parents, and letting me ask you a couple of questions. Yeah. Like two weeks. Holly. Yeah, two weeks. School's out. Awesome. Well, have the rest of, a great rest of the night. Thank yeah. you. Awesome. You too. Thank I you. I like your eagle pin. Oh, yes, my eagle great. pin. Asbury Eagles. Go, Eagles. Um. Woohoo! <laughs> we have more? Yes? All right. Let's bring them over. How are you doing tonight, sir? Could I introduce yourself to the internet? I am Chris Isaacs. I am a junior at Asbury University. Yeah. Uh, do you have any involvement with the films tonight? I am attending Highbridge. <laughs> no, I'm not a media comm person. I let the artsy people do that. Well, that's good. We like having an audience for our stuff. Uh, uh, how are you enjoying the night so far? What's been your favorite part? Oh, um, it's it's been great. It's cool to see, you know, friends of yours that have these movies and stuff. And uh, Play Dead was just hilarious, to be honest. Oh, man. Um, just really cool to see, like, how, like, art and, I don't know. Again, I can't describe it well because I'm not artsy. But, like, just kind of seeing, like, people trying to express what their ideas are and things. You know, just, it's cool. It's really cool. To, and it's all your friends and you know them, so it's kind of funny, yeah. too. Well, awesome. Thank you for, for coming down here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for laughing. Uh, enjoy the rest of the evening. Thanks. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, um, it's a good night in Wilmore. I don't know if anyone else is going to come up here, but um, I'm hoping you're enjoying the evening. I know I'm enjoying the evening. Um, we just have a great time here. And really, uh, I just would like to say, while I have a moment, um, that Highbridge really is a special time for Asbury. Um, everybody comes together, everybody makes these films. Um, it's really good, yeah. It looks like we do have someone else. So, come on down. Yes. 
All right. Well, Good. glad to have you here. Would you care to introduce yourself for the internet, just briefly? Sure. Uh, I'm Miriam Wazlewski. I'm a senior at Asbury University. Awesome. Yeah. Now, uh, what's been your favorite part of the evening so far? Well, my favorite part... Well, I've been seeing everybody, like, you know, all dressed up and schnazzied up, and it's been, uh, it's been pretty, yeah, pretty good. Awesome. Well, uh, thank you for coming down. Thank you for enjoying the evening. Thank you. Uh, have a great rest of the show. You too. Yeah, awesome. Well, I guess we are, uh, we're wrapping it up. We're getting things ready for the festival to commence once again for the second half of films. Uh, so we'll hand it off to Gabe and Paula in just a second. Um, as everybody files back in, up off the steps, back into Hughes to enjoy some more student cinema. Um, yeah, so I guess that's that. We're going to have a great rest of the night. Yeah, thanks for watching. <clears throat> All right, Whew. and we're back. First off, how about that Asbury University Jazz Ensemble under the direction of Dr. Glenn Flanagan? Give him a hand. Yes, they were awesome, especially my twin brother. He was rocking on the drums. Oh yeah, honey. I think your uh, twin brother left his uh, mustache on. <coughs> Excuse me. Ow. <clears throat> right. <laughs> Where were we? <laughs> um, we were just getting back from intermission and about to introduce the uh, second set of student films. Right, the second set of student films. <clears throat> so far, we've seen some great ones, but the magic doesn't end there. Now, without any more of my rambling, here's a documentary about a very special woman who recently left her post. From Brown Rig Wolves, we present to Doris. Well, those are the old box doors that are uh, broken. It's just kind of a relic. Yeah, thanks for your service. Well, thank you. I'll give one, get a cookie. Yeah, sure. <laughs> or two or three or four, however whatever. Many, you know. <laughs> however many you want. So is this your last day here? Or? Next Tuesday. It says 35 plus, but I had four years at another spot. Okay. So it'd be three months shy of 40 years. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. Sad to be going, or is it kind of Well, in some ways, because I'll miss all the students, right. but I'm, I'm happy because I need to take some time and take care of me. Yeah. <laughs> In 76, I had my last child, which was a boy, mm -hmm. 
And of course, with four kids, we were kind of poor, which we always have been. But I said I'd start looking for a job. I just didn't want any more cleaning because I did enough of that at home. And at the time, I was still married, and my ex uh, heard about this job, so he had me come talk to the lady, and she hired me. Thank you so much. Mm, thank you, honey. Thank you so much for us. We really appreciate it. Well, I appreciate you all for giving me a job. Because <laughs> you're why I have a job because of the students, and that's why I appreciate everyone. Mm. We really appreciate you. We're glad to have you with us. Well, here. thank you. Here. Would you like a cookie? I have diabetes, and my feet got to hurting so bad, and my legs, and I got to the point where every day it was a struggle to get up and I just felt so draggy. And my arthritis also was bad, so I just said, it's time. And I'm glad I made the decision because there's a lot that is coming up that I need to do and take care of, and I'm probably gonna be in jail. My bought a truck and I co-signed, mm -hmm. and he's way behind. And they're wanting to get it, but they never can catch him. And he says he's been paying, but they say he hasn't. And I don't know. I'm just, I'm scared, because I don't have any property that they can pay to mortgage company owns my house, so but they're gonna come after me for the money. Well, I'll have Social Security, but it just pretty much pays the mortgage. Uh, I'll have a little bit of um, uh, retirement here, it will pay my utilities, and that's it. I have no money for car expenses and all the other stuff, so we'll see what happens. Oh, I'll just have to not spend any money. I'll just have to make ends meet. <laughs> That'll be fun. Trying to make ends meet, but uh, I don't know. The Lord will provide. It's what I'm counting on. <laughs> Depend on Him too much, don't I? I'm happy that I'm retiring because I just I need to get my body together, you know, as they say. But uh, I need some rest and. Um, I just want to be able to do things at home. And uh, so if I get all those done, then I'll feel better about that. Hurts and hang-ups, they've been hard to deal with, but then you have to deal with them and go on. Uh, you can't dwell in them, but you have to just deal with them and you know do what you can to keep going. Okay, that's it. That's it. We had a lot of fun.
to clarify, um, uh, heaven forbid somebody gets shot, what are we gonna do? Nobody's gonna get shot, okay? Okay, I'm just gonna right here, so. I don't think I wanna do this. Are you, are you serious? Okay, I feel like I'm sensing some cold feet in this car right now. Oh, probably because the window won't roll up. Does anybody else feel uneasy about using this as the getaway car? Hey, don't talk about Michael that way. All right, I think what we need is some good old-fashioned motivation. So we're gonna go around and everyone's gonna say why they need the money. Okay, I'll go first to pay for law school. It's either this or stripping, so. Mary, your turn. Well, as you all know, my mother uh, was just diagnosed with cancer, so I am going to help pay for medical bills. That's really sweet. Oh, wow, you do know we're robbing a gas station, not a bank, right? Well. Banks are closed on the Sabbath, so. Okay, Lucy, what about you? <laughs> well, I was going to wait and surprise you guys, but I have a wedding to pay for. What? Oh my gosh, <gasps> that is such a great what is that happening? Chad oh. asked me this weekend. Uh, we went out in a field where we had our first rendezvous. <laughs> wait, is your boyfriend's name Chad? Fiance, but yes. What kind of name is Chad? I always thought that was a running joke. <laughs> he was wearing a suit. Oh, but his name's Chad. Okay, when is the wedding? Well, uh, we have a design for sure, but probably mid July. Okay, that's great. Hope we're not all in jail. Let's do this. Wait, whoa. What? Nobody asked me what I wanted. What do you want? I am going on a mission trip. Uganda, I'm gonna build an orphanage. Great. Okay, is everybody ready? Weapons, disguises. Yeah. Okay, ladies. Lock and load. Oh, and I will unlock the doors. Because they work. Uh, okay. Let's do it. Okay. okay. Shut up.
We have all experienced this feeling before. This feeling of pain, loss, anger, emptiness. It's in these moments where we ask questions, seek answers. And in these moments, we understand that our lives have been changed forever. Have you ever wondered how this feeling began? The world wasn't created with it. There was the first man and woman, and they were happy. But then everything changed. Then in the blink of an eye, there's a boy sitting in a chair holding dead flowers. It's almost poetic. And I begin to wonder what caused this. Was it abuse or anger or sex or drinking or drugs or sex? And then you find yourself thinking about all those around you, like your best friend, even though he's gone now, or your sister, even though you're nothing alike, or your other friends, even though you never see them anymore, or your ex, or the girl you like, or the guy she likes, or the guy he likes. And you think of all these people and wonder, what makes them different? Why are they so special? Why can't I not be like them? Was it abuse, or anger, or sex, or drinking, or drugs, or sex? And then you find yourself in a chair, in an empty room, holding dead flowers. And you ask, how does it begin? How does it end? How did we get here? And how do we get out?
difficult. It's not like it's philosophy or anything. Yeah, unlike in philosophy, you have the fundamentals of the reality. You see, x denotes the displacement of the string. Okay, from its original position, so it cannot be what you're saying. It is. It's what? negative x point one four three two to the sixth power in the fourth quadrant. See, if you have the fourth quadrant with a parentheses around the sixth, then you use the summation of one to get four point three nine six four one. Oh. Ooh, okay, no, but okay. Look, you did <laughs> so much extra. You graphed this. Oh. Tobin, quit dropping the books. I'm not picking these up for you anymore. Seriously, I'm not picking these up again. Did you even study for the calculus exam? Calculus? <gasps> calculus! If I walk up to her, I would have a base chance of 50%. Yes or no? She'd immediately scan my appearance. Nice hair, smile, clean teeth, possibly my new deodorant, and the fact that she's familiar with me would make her more comfortable and should land me at about 73%. What happened? What happened? Tobin, hey. My inability to maintain eye contact. Um, what did you think about the calculus? Just say hello. No, wait, that's too generic. Are you okay, hey, Tobin? no, she just said that. That's an original. Tobin? Sup, howdy, good day, hi, yo, greetings, salutations, hi, oh, welcome, okay. shalom, bonjour, wait. Sierra, Got it. I guess. Hi! Your confident body language and lack of public and or private speaking skills ugh, made conversation 41% more awkward. All of those things can be negated with sheer confidence. Or humor. A second approach would muster about 9% base with the growth rate of jokes per minute times compliments per minute. Simultaneously, there's a decay rate of negative 1% times x where x equals second plus words divided by sentences. Therefore, odds decay faster you're saying something stupid with a run-on sentence than breaking it up across 12. That's it. It's foolproof. Hey, Tobin, you okay? How do you feel about you going go out to get those booties? How do you feel about going to get those booty? <sighs> Your English is as good as mine. Tobin, get yourself you together, so Tobin. What did you just you say? can't mess this up, Anne. Allie, will you go out with me? Wow, um, you see, Tobin, you're a really nice guy, but maybe we can just be friends, you know? It's a good thing. Mm -hmm. She good said thing. no. Just stay, we can hang out, be friends. Can't say I didn't see that coming. But for some strange reason, I feel like I've awakened from a dream. I mean, sure. It aches, but I tell myself, I've lost myself too many times. Lost sight of who I am. In hopes of something that was never good for me. So embrace the pain. Because it means I'm loved. I'm alive. I'm free. 50%. Those odds aren't too bad. Let's hear it one more time for the 2014 Highbridge University Films. Weren't they great? Yes, Paula, I non-biasedly enjoyed them all equally. Good, and I agree, because our opinion is essentially useless. It's you, the audience, who will now have the opportunity to decide who wins the audience favorite award.
Because it is the year 2014, we have text and paper voting. The quickest and easiest way is to text in your vote by using the short code for your favorite film and texting it to the number 37607. Now be careful because in your program we do have some other codes for these movies. Unfortunately, we've had to change them at the last minute. So if you are using texting, find the movie that you would like to vote for and then use the uh, excuse me six-digit code at the end of it. That will be the body of your message and the recipient will be 37607. Or if you're anything like me and you don't know the difference between SMS and SOS, you can just use traditional paper ballots. They're located within your program. Simply mark your favorite, rip out the ballot, and an usher will be around to collect them at the end of each row. As a friendly reminder, please use only one method of voting. And some of you out there might be indecisive, so please just vote for one. Flip a coin if it comes down to it. And I know it sounds silly, but we need the whole ballot. Just ripping out the name of your favorite movie will get us nowhere. Again, the number to text is 37607. Find your favorite on screen or in your ballot and locate the short code next to the name up here on the screen. The code is the body of the message. That's all you have to send. The recipient is the number. It's as easy as that. And if you're using a paper ballot, a simple check mark will do just fine. Just rip that baby out and get ready to turn it in. But baby, this is the 21st century, so let the people text in their vote if they want. I know, I'm just saying you can't beat the good old pen and paper. Name one great idea that was ever submitted via text message. Didn't you ask me out through text? <laughs> yeah. Right, so while you're doing that, let's move on. In the meantime, we'll let our computers and professional ballot counters add up the votes, and we'll have the winner during the awards ceremony. While we collect your votes, the Highbridge team would like to premiere a music video for Jake Barefoot McCoy. Unfortunately, this video is not eligible for any awards because we don't have a music video category. Oh my gosh, how cool would that be if Asbury had like a video music awards? Someone should yeah. tell Prof Bandy that. In the meantime, here's Take, Take Me, Me Away. Away by Barefoot McCoy. another time Don't think you're leaving me behind Don't think you're leaving me behind I'll find a way I'll take my thousands of mistakes that broke me down and through the dust I am today I'll light them up in flames for I wake deep into the water Let these ocean waves take me away Fallen ill, my friend. 
said it's time I should retire to my home Never stop until you're free But if you will, my friend, please burn me in the fire When I've gone, get my ashes to the sea Don't think you're leaving me behind Don't think you're leaving me behind Find a way, I'll take my thousands of mistakes that broke me down into the dust I am today. I'll light up my big flames, for I way deep into the water. Let these ocean waves take me away. that the Highbridge Film Festival is now in its 10th year? From Corbett Hall to the Miller Building to changes in technology, both the film and the School of Communication Arts have come a long way since the festival began back in 2005. But one thing remains the same. Highbridge continues to be a night that brings our community together to celebrate the rich creativity of Asbury University students. From stop motion to silent films and everything in between, Asbury students have created many award-winning films. Some have even received recognition beyond our festival. The team behind this year's festival has chosen two films to be screened tonight, which will represent how far Highbridge has progressed throughout its first 10 years. The first of those films is from 2006. This classic Highbridge Award winner basically swept the awards in the second year of the festival. It set an early standard for storytelling and production. Written and directed by Whit Bussey and Brock Smith, the first alumni film is titled Wherever You Go. Second, this movie won four awards, including the audience favorite back in 2011. Directed by Christian Loftus, the second alumni film is Mr. Duffy Finds a Friend. Please enjoy these two memorable films from the High Bridge Vault.
All right. This is the part that really makes us feel like we're at the Oscars, the awards. Except, unfortunately, there are no acceptance speeches after each one. All right, all right, all right. And there's no orchestra to cut the speeches that go on too long. Okay, all right. Now it's time to decide which films from this year will be joining the group of award winners from the past nine years and many more to come. Our panel of judges has scored each film in terms of cinematography, audio, music, acting, and overall creativity and message. Not only will winners in each category receive an award, but the winning films will also be available online through the Highbridge Film Festival website for years to come, which will obviously secure them a spot in Asbury history. They might as well be included in the basement of Hughes with all of the class pictures. That's right. <laughs> All right, let's get started. As the winners are announced, we ask that they please join us here on stage and remain through the entire award ceremony. Now we would like to introduce our first award presenter of the evening, Dr. Jim Owens. It's awful hard to follow Mr. Duffy. It's my honor this evening to uh, have present the winning high school entry. Uh, the process of creating this entry this year was quite unique. Uh, a couple of students at uh, West Jessamine High School decided to form a film club. And the single goal for that club this year was to create a hybrid film festival entry. 15 students or more uh, spent the next few months creating the entry that you saw earlier, Feast Friends. So not only did they create it, but they won. So congratulations. I'd like... I'd like to invite the producer and director and the person who helped form that club, Jesse Seals, to come to the platform. While, while Jesse is coming, I know that there are a number of members of the film club who worked on this film out here, and I wondered if they could stand briefly for us. The often forgotten other half of narrative film production is the sound. Um, along with the lighting and cinematography, the directing and acting, sound engineers are working throughout the process to enhance the viewer's experience by providing intelligible dialogue, sound effects that put the viewer in the middle of the action, and music that connects the viewer emotionally with the characters. Our sound awards are divided into three categories. Uh, best sound editing goes to the sound engineer whose film has the cleanest, clearest, best sounding dialogue, the most compelling sound effects, or shows creativity and originality in the overall sound design. This year's winner of best sound editing is Philip Jackson, awarded for the film The Spark. After all the various components of the sound are created and edited, uh, the dialogue, sound effects, and music are now mixed together to create a seamless sonic experience that keeps the viewer engaged while never distracting. This process affects not only the clarity of the dialogue, but also the overall emotional impact that the sound has on the viewer. In the category of best sound mixing, this year's winner goes again to Philip Jackson. Thank 
motion begins. And in the final sound category, we recognize the best original music score. Uh, this award goes to the music composer who has contributed original music that best engages the audience, makes them relate to or feel the emotion of the character or scene, and enhances the overall emotional impact of the film. This year's best, best original music score award goes to Austin Scott. <laughs> Film is about miracles, imagination, and fantasy coming to life on the silver screen. More times than not, however, the director's imagination is bigger than can be captured in today's reality. These cases bring the necessity for special visual effects, which in their best form turn these fantasies into reality on the screen without any detection by the audience. This year, the award for Best Special Visual Effects goes to Nathaniel Winkler. So you guys know you have to hold it like this, right? So everyone can clearly see. And you have to stay in that position the whole time. Um, in its purest form, cinematography is using the visual tools of cinema to tell a story without words. Cinematographers are the visual creatives on set that translate their director's words and the script's text into the moving pictures we love to see. Their stories are crafted by tone, contrast, affinity, color, rhythm, shape, line, and movement within the frame. This year's, the award for best cinematographer goes to Julia Stark for Ashes to Ashes. Sorry, doing some housekeeping here. All right, All right um, this is for editing. <clears throat> Great film editors are like time travelers. Uh, they instinctively know uh, when to compress time so that we see the hero stepping out of the elevator on the observation deck at the top of the Empire State Building mere seconds after we see him entering the elevator on the ground floor, sparing us having to ride up with him for 102 floors. Uh, now that the hero has reached the top of the Empire State Building, he sees that the villain has just set the timer on his nuclear device to detonate exactly in one minute. Thanks to the convenient, bright red, easy for the audience to see digital readout. <laughs> At this point, the editor will now stretch time, allowing our hero to do battle with him for a full three minutes <laughs> before the villain eventually falls to his death a fall which, by the way, will take 15 seconds instead of the actual nine. <laughs> and he'll still have time to figure out which wire to pull to defuse the bomb with seconds to spare as indicated on the convenient bright red, easy for the audience to see digital readout. <laughs> this intuitive feel for pacing 
of the story is at the heart of what separates great editors from the ordinary ones. Editors know how to pace a story in such a way that it'll make us laugh, it'll make us cry, or it'll scare us right out of our socks. The next award celebrates the editor that best exemplifies this essential part of the craft of storytelling. And the award for editorial achievement goes to Hezekiah Crocker. The FX of love. Get up here, come on. All righty. Now, being an actor means countless rehearsals, late nights, and early mornings on the set, uh, constant requests from all of the Asbury filmmakers to be in their projects. <laughs> the skill it requires is paramount. The time is enormous. The commitment is constant. You must be able to make the character that you're playing big enough to fill the screen with enough impact to be remembered. These qualities are what make the audience respond to the character that the actor is portraying. Tonight, the actor who best exhibits these qualities is Tyler Wilson. <laughs> Play dead. Tyler, Tyler, you may want to share that with Delilah. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Similar to the actor, the, being an actress also means countless rehearsals, late nights, and early mornings on the set. However, actresses bring a different set of skills and a completely different dynamic to the screen. The actresses whose work we've seen tonight have demonstrated their strength, passion, their wit, their intelligence, and their vulnerability. This year, they've been challenged even more than ever to bring those roles to life. They've made you laugh, they made you cry, and they made you think. This year's award for Best Actress goes to Naomi Friedman for Broken. The documentary filmmaker is given the burden and the blessing of communicating the truth. They tell the stories of those who cannot speak for themselves and bring light to social situations that demand exploration and uncovering. This year's award for best documentary filmmaker goes to Brown Ragouls.
I promised the administration I'd stay on my script, so I'll stay on my script. Okay. <laughs> Comedy is an activity that is uh, very much like baseball. Uh, it's measured in runs, hits, and errors. <laughs> Ball players understand that there's an ebb and flow to this game, that the fans come out not only to root for their favorite team, but to also enjoy the experience of being at the game as well. But not all baseball fans are alike. Some really appreciate a low-scoring pitcher's duel. Others enjoy high-scoring slugfests. The same is true in comedy. Some fans respond to broad physical humor. Others appreciate the well-timed one-liner, while still others laugh at the embarrassing and cringeworthy moments of a show. So like the ball player, the creator of comedy steps up to the plate, takes his swings, and just like the ball player, he occasionally hits it out of the park, causing the audience to roar with laughter. Often he's happy with a base hit single or a well-placed bunt, which will eventually score a laugh. And like the ball player, his worst fear is a swing and a miss striking out at the worst possible time. And just like baseball, the successful creators of comedy are those who have the best batting average. So the runs, hits, and errors have been totaled up, and the judges have determined who among the players has the best batting average tonight. Tonight, the award for outstanding comedy goes to Zach Brewer. The getaway. Drama is the genre of film known for the emotional roller coaster it creates in its storytelling. It's the nature of the genre that one minute you're happy and the next you're sad. Drama was created for people to be able to relate to the characters and the problems they're going through. These problems put the characters in conflict with themselves, others, society, and even natural phenomena. For years, we've seen Asbury Films demonstrate excellence in drama, and this year is no different. The 2014 winner of Best Overall Drama goes to Bryce Yuri. Ultimately, the goal of each film is to tell a story. Some films tell a complex story over the course of several hours. Others take just a few seconds. Films in the super short category strive to tell a complete story in three minutes or less. Working with a limited screen time forces these filmmakers to return to the fundamentals of storytelling. This year, the award for best super short goes to two people, first to Nathaniel Winkler. And in the tie goes to Bryce Yuri. Every film begins with a story. Pretty shots and expert lighting can only carry a product so far before the work of the writer is forced to shine through. A writer creates the reason for a film, bringing together a crew, 
to work toward the common goal of portraying their story. It is their original idea that is nurtured from words to images to bring their imagination into a visual reality. This year's award for best original screenplay goes to Hezekiah Crocker. And the final award, the one you've been waiting to find out, the one you voted on, audience favorite. We've implemented this from the very first year, and this year it goes to Bryce Urey for In the Beginning. Give it up for all our winners tonight, please. Thank you very much. buy you guys pizza and but we do have a reception waiting up for you guys up in the Miller Center and we would love to take your picture on a red carpet and then treat you to food honey what are you doing well I think one of them may have stole our page in the script because we were supposed to say thank you to everybody oh, thanks guys man well <laughs> let's see if I can remember this off of the top of my head I should know I wrote this Sorry for all the bad jokes. Anyway, so we're going to, before we dismiss to the reception, we're going to say thanks to everybody who deserves it. Of oh, course, there it is. it's Prop there Smart. It is. Thank you, Prop there Smart. There we go. Thank you, <laughs> Prop Smart. <clears throat> so let's see. Ah, oh, right here. It's okay. <laughs> It's been an amazing and successful night, and there are so many people that deserve thanks for making it all happen. Hopefully, we won't miss anyone. First of all, this event has been a semester-long project for Prof. Greg Bandy and the special events class. They've been working nonstop on many of the behind-the-scenes work, but their efforts have certainly paid off. Let's give them a hand. Next, we would like to thank our judges for not only making the journey all the way to Wilmore, but also for sharing their talents and expertise with our entire community. Oh, hey, man. Thanks. Took you long enough. What are you doing up here? Here. This is for you. Jake. Appreciate it. What are you doing? Just pizza. All right, we're taking a selfie. Where's my phone? I got pizza. She got a selfie. All right. Thanks, Ellen. Can y'all just smile really fast? Okay. Let Jake oh, wait, in this. let me just turn that around real fast. All right. 
We'll leave that Got here. what I wanted now. Sweet. Let's make sure we retweet that later too. Yeah. Maybe we can beat out Ellen. Hashtag Highbridge14. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> so let's get back to showing our appreciation. The festival also wouldn't be a success without the numerous volunteers. From our ushers here in Hughes to those serving at the reception, they've all made a sacrifice for a great cause. And let's give one more thanks to the Jazz Ensemble for performing tonight and making this such a classy evening. Finally, we would like to thank all of you for being here tonight. Thank you students, parents, alumni, and community members for coming out to show your support for these aspiring and talented students. <laughs> <clears throat> Although we were only able to get one box of pizza Sorry. and weren't able to get everybody some, we do have a reception waiting for you up in Miller. We would love to take your picture on our red carpet and then treat you to food, drinks, and live entertainment. If you're new to campus or just get lost easily in the dark, the Miller Center is located just up Jewel Walk, which is the sidewalk that goes that way. Follow the illuminated path, no seniors, it's not you. <laughs> and walk up to the building with all the movie memorabilia. Just follow the crowds of people, and please be sure to enter through the front doors. I guess that's it then. We were honored to be your hosts for this year's festival. You know, we're also available for birthday parties, bar mitzvahs, graduations. Gabe, no shameless plugs tonight, remember? Where yeah, are you going? Yeah, I know, I know. Gabe. Gabe, let's call it. Gabe, you can't go to the reception without me. I know. I want to get these people out of here, and I got to go over here and play one more with no, the jazz band. No, you have to wait for me. No, I'll be there. Go ahead. Just sign us off. All right. Well, that is all the time we have. Thank you guys for everything. My name is Paula Diaz. And I'm Gabe Willison. Have a great night, Asbury. Ready, guys? much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed all these marvelous films. I know the students put a lot of work into them. As you can see, people are clearing out, heading over to the Miller Center for our reception. Um, so thank you again for watching. And on behalf of all of us at Asbury University, we are just so grateful that uh, you've tuned in and stayed with us tonight. Uh, so my name is Jake Terrio, and um, you have a great night. Thanks again. Okay.